It might be tough for most of us to appreciate, but for blind and vision impaired people, catching public transport can actually be pretty stressful. On top of navigating crowds and making sure you're on time, you've actually got to get on the right tram in the first place. Public transport and uh, navigating when you've got a disability can be really stressful. Most passengers have, you know, the ability to, to get on public transport and switch off. Um, but travelling with a vision impairment or with low vision or being blind, you have to be alert, you know, throughout the journey and you have to sort of maintain that. Uh, the Route 96 and 86 trams that come down Burke Street have the exact same model, um, similar numbers, and the LED signage on the side that tells you the tram number isn't visible for someone like myself. And so when a tram pulls up, I don't know which one it is. In Victoria, they're attempting to solve this issue using a new technology. The Victorian government is rolling out what they're calling NaviLens codes at more than 1,700 stops and on more than 500 trams across the 23 routes that serve the network, which is the world's largest. Now this is happening after a successful trial on the 96 route tram last year. This is the route that I take home, um, so I've been able to use it pretty consistently and sort of get a feel for NaviLens and how it works. You'll see the NaviLens codes posted up at tram stops uh, on the exterior of trams and on the interior of trams. Um, it works like a QR code, but it's a lot more powerful, a lot more immediate when you scan it. Someone who is using NaviLens can pull out their phone and scan the code from a pretty, pretty decent distance, I think it's 15 to 20 metres, and you're immediately getting sort of context and information about your immediate environment that you might not otherwise have if you don't have a whole lot of eyesight. Previously, you know, having to rely on a system that I know isn't really designed with people like myself in mind, um, and even sometimes rely on other people. Um, that's not really how anyone wants to travel. While the NaviLens announcement has been welcomed by some, including Ben, disability advocates say there's still much needed work to be done to make the network more accessible for people with wheelchairs. There's government data that shows in 2023, just 28% of tram stops across the network were accessible for people in wheelchairs. The public transport network has a long way to go to be accessible for everyone. It's really hard to achieve that because it's such an intersectional thing where something that's accessible for one person might not be for someone else. Um, but I'm encouraged by the people working behind all the major public transport networks being you know, trams, trains and buses doing the right things and taking the right steps to get to a point where it's more accessible for everyone. And that starts with consulting with people with lived experience.